Good morning, gladiators. We who are about to play salute you. Now, today on Ollie Plays, we're not going to play a Sword and Sandals game. There's a bunch more of them still to play, but I'd like to show you a few other games along the way too. This one in particular is uh, very close to me. I played it a ton as a kid in the video arcades and again on the Sega Mega Drive with a good friend of mine. And it's a really classic arcade style dungeon crawler called Kadash. Today I'll be using the 8-Bit Doe, which is a really cool um, retro style gamepad. It has uh, cool light up blue um, lights like that, like the Millennium Falcon. Um, and it's actually really good for playing arcade uh, ROMs and things like that, which I'm using uh, an emulator to play. All right, uh, let's get into it. All right, so insert a coin. Get some credits going because uh, I've played this a lot, but I'm not as good as I used to be. So um, let's add some credits. Now you can actually play a two-player game, so it's actually um, it's waiting for another input, but we're only going to play me today. Now in this game, you are one of four heroes, a fighter, a mage, a priest, and a ninja. Um, I remember playing the mage a lot. The arcade version had this priest and ninja, but the... Um, Mega Drive version, which I played heaps at home, uh, was only the fighter and the mage. So let's go with the mage. The music in this game is actually really cool. It's um, quite atmospheric. Uh, How well you came, Ollie. I have been waiting long for a brave man to arrive. This you must know. Blah 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 blah. The count. Look at that. The countdown clock is ticking down while this guy uh, monologues at us. Uh, the evil Barog who has adopted Princess Sarasa. Uh, on the Mega Drive version of this, the character's name was Balrog, uh, which is straight out of Tolkien. And um, you notice a lot of other games do that as well. Um, games like Street Fighter also use Balrog. So, go figure. But they call them Balrog in this one. Now, it's a, it's a very straightforward um, platform style game. You have jump and attack and you can hold down the button to use a special attack like a fireball, but that uses some of your magic. Um, we get some herbs along the way, and some money. We can talk to these Gandalf types. Um, but, you know, they're just telling us, go do the quest. Because the countdown clock is on, this is an arcade game, back in the day you actually had to put coins in to keep going. And, you know, it's funny, people complain a lot about uh, mobile games costing a dollar and that kind of thing. Man, back in the day, we would pump in quarter after quarter after quarter. Well, in Australia, 20 cent piece after 20 cent piece into these games. And we would easily spend five, ten dollars in a session, you know, and that's just for a couple of games. Now, we're outside the castle. It has a very sort of um, classic JRPG feel. You know, you can walk left and right, talk to the villagers and they'll give you bits of advice. Inside the cave, all sorts of dangers which await you. Stop by the shops. Along the road, you will find things that will help you along the way. All right, thanks, Decade Kane. And another Gandalf. Don't take too much time. If you take time in the fight, I hear an awesome monster will appear. Awesome. All right. We won't even bother. Oh, I should talk to him. This uh, guy with his pack. In the back of the cave, there is supposed to be a gate of departure. All right, let's go. So we enter the cave now. The music changes into something scary. Now first up, whoa, into it, and some pigmen. These guys go down pretty easily, but there's lots of them. They look pretty tough though, right? Now the end of the game is you move along, um, going from dungeon to dungeon, collecting gold, which you then can spend the gold on upgrades. All right. Let's try a fireball, watch this. Yeah, fireballs go straight through them. Even the slimes. You can't have a dungeon game without slimes, right? New spell has been memorized. Cool, so we've leveled up. Now we can use a powerful spell, which is this one. Oh. Now, ah, oh, bats, man. Every game, I hate bats. Let's see if we use a spell on them. Probably shouldn't use all my magic. Now, of course, the water is also poisonous. Oh, that's everywhere. 
And of course, uh, skellies, they also go down pretty hard, but they, um, you've got to kneel because they have a shield. Now this game was made by Taito, who made uh, Rastan and um, a ton of really good arcade games from that era. I don't think they're around anymore. Oh, the shield is blocking me. I don't think they're around anymore, but in the, back in the day they were one of the huge names in, in arcade games. And if you saw a Taito game, you knew it was going to be good. Alright, let's climb down the conveniently placed rope ladder because I want to show you something kind of cool. Now, when I was in the arcades the first time, it was a local milk bar and we'd go there before school. And you'd watch other kids playing this, and this always scared everybody. So we're walking along, and then... <gasps> giant bloody eyeball! Whoa! Doesn't actually do that much damage, but scared the hell out of us as kids. I think we're just easily scared. Different generation, right? Now they clash together. Whose eyes are they? Who knows? Now some evil skelly, uh, evil spiders. These guys can poison you, I think, or at least create a, a net around you if you're not careful, and that can be dangerous. Yeah, it keeps slamming you, so... Ah, oh, hit, 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 hit. I've used the medic medical herb. Um, you get some health back. Not that much considering you only get a couple of them, but we've got a lot of credit, so I'm not too worried. And we're gonna be using them, I think. I died. But I came back because I had some coins. Insert coin into it. So you can, you can see how quite quickly, uh, if you're not that good at a game, the money piles up. We're in a dangerous volcano now. Things slamming us left, right and center. You've got to get right in the middle. And I think another spider comes across the bridge just to spin you out. Oh no, it's a bat. Evil bats. Like a lot of games in this era, Sometimes the hit detection isn't great, and it's especially challenging on uh, arcade emulators because um, you really find you might move one way and a bat goes the other way and, and it hits you and you think, hang on, that didn't get me, but it did. Alright, here's a sad sol uh, sad sailor who, um, sailor? Soldier? Who's in a lot of pain. Hello there! Do not come any nearer. There is an awful monster up there. Awful? A U A W E. All right, it's fine. Let's not rescue him because of a spelling mistake. This is pretty cool. The black pudding. Let's use some magic on him. Whoa! He actually uh, in the Mega Drive version he's a bit tougher than that. So now we've defeated the first boss and we're through the dungeon, and we can talk to the guardian. Oh. How well you can- that phrase again. Do they, does it mean what I think it means? No, let's keep our minds out of the gutter. I have been waiting here in this shrine for a long time for a brave man like you to come along. Just like the king said, all reading from the same script. The trip from now will be a hard one, but blah blah blah, have courage. Open, open the gate for me. Please. Hmm. Maybe I need to wait for him. Sometimes I get impatient. One thing that drives me nuts in JRPGs is um, long text sequences. They're really just challenging. We're actually having some trouble opening this door. We're not not letting us pass, and I don't know what it could be. Can we open it? Well, oh, now I'll open the seal. Open the seal! He's not going to do it. I think he uh, didn't like what we said about the poor sailor or the king. Do I need to wait? There we go. Patience is a virtue after all. So now we go through to the next level and we can actually go to the shops. Now, uh, a little bit of background on the Mega Drive version of this game. Um, very similar to this version. Um, really faithful port. An old buddy of mine, Jeff Wicks, and I used to play this at his house many nights. Um, we played this so many times because back in the day, you, you you bought a console, but most of the time you can only afford three or four games, or your parents could, and so you play these games again and again and again, and you would just learn all the secrets about them. And Jeff and I have just mastered this game. He often used the wizard, and I would use the warrior. The priest and the ninja weren't available. And we always go to the arcades and see them go, Oh, I wish we had that in the Mega Drive. 
Um, but the Mega Rare version was actually pretty damn good. So you can go to the inn. And uh, save your progress if you want, but we don't really need to do that. Do you want to save, stay tonight? No, nah, I don't think we do. Thank you. Oh, well, well, what are you thanking me for? There's a fat man. Greetings, fat bloke. I hear the others of forest inhabited by gnomes in the continent next to ours. And another Gandalf. So you, in the same way that a lot of classic uh, role-playing games, you basically um, you get bits of advice as you go to each each different area, and you kind of can take it on board or not. Let's see if we can upgrade our um, armor and weapons. Really, really fun to play game. You don't actually see a lot of um, arcade style uh, platformer games like this where you could play two players. And most of them, things like uh, Double Dragon and Street to Rage were classic sort of um, contemporary beat em up type games. But the fantasy ones, not that many. Uh, there was, I think, uh, Dungeon Dragon's Shadow of a Mysteria, which was awesome. I'm gonna play that another time. Um, but I didn't see many other games like Kadash back in the day. And, even now, you don't see many that are two players. So we can get a... These are the shops, so each different character can have certain things, like the ninja can have the um, butterfly knife. The robe can... Do we want to buy this? Yeah, we've got the robe now, so that's made us more powerful. And I think we can get a staff as well. The iron wand. Cool. Let's grab that. I already got it. Well, why did... Why even offer it to me? He's as bad as a shopkeeper in sword and sandals, if not worse. Silly old man. Alright, let's get out of here. It's quite it's some cool effects. You've got the um, parallax scrolling and you have the um, background layer there, which is probably on some kind of 3D plane moving towards us, or it could be some kind of um, uh, shader. And you often saw that in the uh, arcades where they move pixels around in some kind of sine wave uh, to create really psychedelic backgrounds. Oh, there's an old lady. Should we talk? Yeah, let's talk to her. She looks a bit lonely. The brave band, will you listen to my story? Oh no, I'm going to be here all day. Ah, oh, she's still going. This is so boring. Ah, oh, okay. Anyway, uh, this girl's been taken by an evil, uh, a kraken, which is kind of cool. And so we have to go on task with rescuing her. Now I'm going to see if I can get to that for today's session. Um, magic potions, oh, let's not bother. Let's get into the, the next dungeon. Down the rope we go. Ooh. Now if we try to go in the water, it's poisonous to us. Obviously the town has a real problem with the water supply. And so, you know, I really wouldn't want to be staying at that inn. Some deadly frogs. Let's use our magic on them. So the wizard isn't as strong as a barbarian, but those spells are really overpowered. Some trolls. Ah, so the trolls are immune to magic. So you gotta basically get in there and smash them. Ah, I've leveled up, cool. Annoyingly, when you level up, you actually uh, don't get your health back. And that another problem with coin op games is they screw you anywhere they can. Oh, giant hands trying to get us. Ah, uh, damn it. Eaten. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's get one more go. See if we can get to the uh, Kraken. You can't kill the giant hands, so you just gotta try and run past them. Get some more gold, follow the path along. Some black jellies. And these guys are even tougher than the... Take more hits than the green jellies. They might be the kids of the black pudding. And there's a tree ant or an ant, depending on if you're playing Dungeons and Dragons or watching uh, Lord of the Rings. Doesn't this just feel like a Dungeons and Dragons campaign? It really does. It's like a classic adventure. You're going into a dungeon, you're starting off in the town, getting your equipment, especially if you have a wizard and a warrior. Now I just love these kind of games. Uh, Now we're leveling up quite fast, which is um, which is cool because it means we're going to get access to more spells. 
Do I have a new one? Oh yeah, I got a, a flame blast. And that's pretty powerful. Look at that. Just destroying them like they were pieces of wood. Do we want to go this way? Mm, no, let's uh, head to the left. Okay, here's the uh, princess. And we're going to use our spells on the Kraken. I think the uh, magic glass works. I died. Alright, come on. We've got to beat him. Come on, we've got to beat him, right? Re miraculous reincarnation. Thanks for the, the power of money. Uh, cool thing about arcade ROMs is that they have unlimited uh, credits. So you can go back and finish all the games you never did as a kid. No, I'm not actually playing very well. Sometimes it's hard to play and talk when you're old like me. He really does damage. He smashes you. And this is where the warrior would come in because the warrior can distract him and the wizard can just blast him. There we go. And he hands off a ton of money for us. Now we can uh, rescue the princess once we get... Can we rescue her? Hello, lady. Hello, lady. Guess not. We keep going then. My memory of this uh, is pretty good, but sometimes it's a bit foggy because there are some sections of it where I can't remember exactly what was going on. Pretty nice sprites in this game. You know, I think the backgrounds are quite, you know, quite evocative of a, of a dungeon. You know, limited uh, animation frames and so on, but this is cool. Look at these guys. You got to jump over them. Ah, oh, these bees poisoning us. Ah, oh, man, slamming me. They won't leave me alone. What's a bee doing in a dungeon? Ah. Oh. I wasn't paying attention to where I was going. So, I think we should probably leave it there. Um, Kadash is a lot of fun. If you ever see it in a video arcade, uh, in a retro arcade, go and play it. It's, uh, if you can get a friend together, um, or if you can find it on an emulator, it's a wonderful, wonderful game to play. Um, and one of my favorites. So, uh, thank you for playing. And um, until next time, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, um, please uh, like and subscribe. It really makes a difference to me. Um, I do appreciate it. Uh, it's off to the demo again. And next time I'll probably be back on Sword and Sandals. I think it will probably be Sword and Sandals Crusader next. So that'll be a lot of fun. All right. Until next time. Bye for now.